Hello, friend. I'm Jen, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company with a quick walkthrough of how to use Zoom.us and QuickTime to record a double ender for your podcast and really up level your audio quality. So here's what you're going to need. Zoom.us and you can use the free version. You're also going to need QuickTime player and an external microphone. And I've got my Samsung Q2U USB external microphone plugged into my laptop. Now, let's get started. So we're going to start our Zoom call without video. And we're going to join the audio conference by computer. And we're going to unmute. I'm going to hit record. And I'm just going to record on this computer. And then the next thing I'm going to do is open up QuickTime Player. And I'm going to go to File, New Audio Recording. And you can see up here that my audio is coming through. And I'm going to hit this little drop down just to make sure that it's picking up from my Samsung Q2U and not the internal microphone. You do not want it to use the internal microphone. It's going to sound horrible. Make sure it's connected to your external microphone. And then we are going to hit record. Now, here's a little trick so that you can match up your Zoom recording with the QuickTime recording. Do a clap or make some other loud noise so that you will see the spike in that audio file and that's gonna help you line it up when you go to record. So now I'm gonna stop the QuickTime recording. I am going to stop the Zoom recording and I'm gonna end this meeting. Now, what I want to do is pull up the audio recording from Zoom and compare it to the recording that we made in QuickTime so that you can hear the difference in the audio quality. So here's the Zoom recording on this computer. And then the next thing I'm going to do is open up QuickTime Player. So you can hear within that, it's, it's got kind of that little fuzziness that you get in Zoom recordings. Now, let's listen back to it through the recording that we made in QuickTime Record. Now, here's a little trick so that you can match up your Zoom recording with the QuickTime recording. As you can hear, you get a much cleaner recording when you are picking up that direct feed from your external microphone directly into QuickTime. And that's it. That's how you can record a double ender using QuickTime, Zoom.us, and an external microphone. For more podcasting tips and tutorials, visit BrassyBroad.com. And if you haven't already, make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel because I'm always sharing new podcasting tutorials and tips.